Oh, landmines and jellyfish. Welcome back to Knives, I guess. And why are you sticky? There's nothing sticky in here. Where did you find sticky? Ah, uh, you know what? You're too adorable for me to be mad at you. But we're going to take a look at the Gin Kit Knife, and this is the Captain. And uh, these guys sent this to me to review. They're the first ones to ever do that. Thank you so much, guys. Let's give them a big thanks in the comments. And uh, I'm going to put the link to the Amazon listing in this and the discount code, which is 10KnivesIG. And uh, that'll be in the description with the Amazon listing. So you can check it out yourself for 30 bucks minus 3 bucks for your 10%, $27. But, if you haven't seen this before, this is a kit knife. And, uh, this came in, uh, this box, Nyar, and inside this box, Nyar. And you've got everything you need to put this together. All the dinguses, the bits and pieces, you get Torx drivers for it, you get pivot lube. And those Torx drivers, I'm going to say it again, I've said it before, those are some nice added value. Because if you're going to play around with knives a whole lot and, you know, work on your stuff... That T6 and that T8 they include are both, they're good enough to make me happy and so handy. You can never have enough of them. So a lot of cool things going on here. And there's also the assembly video from a little while back so you can see how straightforward this process is. Now, when I assembled it, one thing I noticed was a touch of lock rock, which uh, that would have broken in pretty quickly, but I'm not that patient. So I took it apart and I flexed the uh, liner lock right here in this direction to get it better centered on the blade and it's quite well centered now and uh that's the only thing i've really had to do that really entailed work but you know not a big deal it was part of me adjusting it to how i likes it um i've got the pivot fairly tight it just it feels good the way i've got it set up right now you know it pops open it shakes shut um i like it where it sits um you've got a flipper tab your pocket clip is tip up and that is the lord's carry and uh, it is reversible, so you can go lefty or righty. And uh, you've got a 3.5 inch D2 steel blade. This is G10, and it says it's printed on the Amazon listing. And I got to assume it's sublimated. And I mentioned this before, but again, if you haven't uh, seen that video, sublimation uh, basically you'll take the blank scale or the blank whatever. I did this printing custom cell phone cases, and you put it in a tray and you print a sheet out. It's a foily film ish thing. And it goes on the tray into an oven at about 300 degrees, and they pull a vacuum on it, which uh, seals it down tight. And that ink becomes a gas that sinks into the surface of this. And the reason I mention that is that if that's what they did, it should make it pretty hard to scratch through the color into uh, just white G10. So, uh, or blue G10 with white print. But either way, um, if they did sublimate it, it's going to be a fairly durable uh, print. Um, if they didn't, then... Uh, which it doesn't look like they did anything besides sublimating. Um, it's kind of interesting to look at for me just because I've done that kind of work before. But um, I, I carried this for a week at work, okay? And uh, first thing to mention, this thing's got a little bit of bulk to it, especially for a modern folding knife. Now, for something a hair older, not bulky at all. Um, very much average on the thickness. Now, what this meant is I felt it in the waistband. I definitely knew it was there, but the way it set up, there was no rubbing, nothing dug in. There was no hot spotting. It was very comfortable. I just knew it was there the whole time. You know, it didn't disappear like a bug out does. It didn't disappear like the Olatan's T025. Like, you knew it was there. Um, but the weight on this is a little hefty. Not too bad, but it feels reassuring to me. Like, the weight feels like the kind of stuff that I got used to carrying over the years. You know, and like... It's a bit of a juxtaposition to the ultralight stuff that I play around with sometimes. Like, it's not it's not massive and heavy like the uh, Sheepdog XL. It doesn't weigh you down like uh, pocket swords do. It's, you know, pocket knife weight. And it's just, you know, things have gotten lighter and lighter. And this is not, it's not the lightest thing in the world. It feels really good in the hand. It feels really good to fidget with. Um, so, I mean, I like it. I like the weight. But, uh... Carrying this for the week at work, um, it did everything I needed it to really, really well. Um, this is one of the sharpest factory edges I have ever seen. Like, this is up there with cold steel. The, the factory edge was insane. Like, going through the uh, plastic on pallets, zero resistance. Even going sideways on it, which is like the hardest thing to cut. 
anything will hang up on that. It still did a better job than just about everything else I've used cutting through it sideways. I don't know why it's so hard. Probably because it's not under tension like the stuff going vertical. But it blasted through that like it was nothing. I fed it a couple of pieces of cardboard. It blazed through those very nicely. And then I had to cut wrapping off of a bundle of steel, steel wires at work. And I felt confident going in on that and not wrecking the edge. And I uh, got that done today. I didn't push it too hard because we still have Cardboard Slayer to go, which I hope to be doing tomorrow. And I really, really want to push the edge on that. And then, of course, we'll have a more comprehensive overview of this thing when we do the aftermath video of that. But I did promise you guys a review after I carried it, and this week is over. So, uh, you know, so far, my opinion of this thing is really, really, really good. You know, the only thing that might hang up for you and might be a problem is just the looks. You know, some guys will find this right here a bit goofy. Personally, I really dig the vibe. Um, it's just, it's different. Something you don't run into every day. And uh, it's it's well done. And uh, one of the guys pointed out in the comments that it was a really strong Evil Knievel vibe. And he nailed it on the head. Um, it's just a really retro vibe to it. Um, I love it. You know, it's colorful. It pops. You know, I've got so many knives that are black or brown or green um and i don't have many things that have this much flair to them now i really hope if this takes off and does well and they can get a bunch of these sold they're gonna move into doing different things with these scales you know even if they keep the same scales just give us some different patterns you know jen if you do if you guys do see this if you guys are so inclined do some stuff for holidays you know halloween i'd love to see like skulls and fire and you know all that stuff really halloween themed Christmas would be great, like a bunch of little trees and Santa and all that. You know, Easter, a bunch of Easter eggs. Um, I'd love to see a Thanksgiving version, just, you know, turkey legs, just turkey legs all over it. That'd be so good. Um, but that being said, I'm a, a little on the goofy side. Um, yeah, I have nothing to complain about, and I'm looking forward to Cardboard Slayer because the ergos on this also feel really good. I don't feel anything at the outset to this that tells me that I'm going to have, like, the kind of destruction right here that I've been experiencing on the last couple of knives. Um, thankfully, the 20-sided die won't be picking the knife. I'm picking the knife, so I'm getting a reprieve. Because I'm entirely sure the next knife that I throw into the batch that I don't want to use... That's what that die is going to pick again. Uh, if it's another natural 20, I am going to defecate your pants. Um, yeah, like I'd, I'd like one of the knives in the box to be one that's comfortable that I want to play with, but that hasn't been my luck the last two live streams. But the guys that are showing up for them, thank you so much, man. It feels good to have you guys show up and, and have a consistent audience. Um, hopefully more of y'all show up and enjoy it too. Um, but... Let's take a look at the edge. You know, again, if you didn't see the earlier videos, um, this is the edge after very light use. Um, my, and that's the thing. My environment at work is very lightweight. Like, I don't have a reason to push and abuse knives. I really don't. And I don't have time to do Cardboard Slayer at work because, well, I have to work. And it's one of those environments where it's like, uh, you know, you get pushed and pushed and pushed to make sure you can't stop moving for like 30 whole seconds over the course of your day. So... Yeah, I, I managed to pull off Cardboard Slayer for uh, the first uh, the first Super Budget Showdown just because I was closing and uh, my manager wasn't there at night, but even then I couldn't dedicate a lot of time to it. So, I'll show you where the edge is, and this will be something to reference for the Aftermath video after we do Cardboard Slayer. I hope you guys show up for the live stream, but... Like, the factory edge is... Still ridiculously sharp, and the areas that cut that I used to cut through and, and were rubbing up against the steel, also not having problems. I mean, this is just fabu. Um, we we can also take a look at the paper that's notoriously hard to cut. It just wads up and doesn't like being cut with anything with the slightest edge problems, and no real resistance. So we're gonna have a fun live stream, really wearing this edge out. I am hoping physically I'm capable of lasting the number of hours I expect this to. Um, anything over two and a half hours, I'm going to consider good. Um, I'm expecting this is probably going to push into the four hour mark or maybe go past before I need to strop it. So we're going to see what happens there. But yeah, 
Um, I like this thing. I love the idea behind it. I love the execution. Like, and here's the thing, you know, it's up to you to decide whether or not I'm just shilling at this point. Um, you know, if I had major problems with it, just like everything else, I would let you know, because I've had major problems with knives that, you know, that are from companies that I really, really like and would love to review stuff for them and have them send me stuff to review. But I mean, there's stuff that I've had big problems with and I let you guys know. So that's up for you to decide. But, you know, I really enjoy this thing. I enjoyed carrying it. I'm going to enjoy Cardboard Slayer with it. You know, we'll come back with the aftermath because the only thing left that could really take points off of this thing really is going to be Cardboard Slayer. You know, if this edge wears out really fast and I have to strop it after like an hour, that's going to be, you know, a big tell. But, I mean, it's D2 and, you know, I've said it before, these guys are all getting their steel from pretty much the same places and they're all having the heat treatments done by pretty much the same guys. So there's no reason that this should really go bad. Um, I mean, if, if it goes bad, I'm going to be impressed, you know, so this is the gin captain kit knife. Um, this is just how I feel about it after carrying it for a week. Overall, really cool, really good thing. It did really well for me. That factory edge is nuts. And, uh, again, just building it from that kit, extremely satisfying, you know, and if you haven't taken stuff apart and put put it back together and you've been a little intimidated by the thought of working on your stuff, this is a great place to start. You've got step-by-step -step instructions that walk you through building the whole thing. And I think Randy's WSG has a video on building it. Um, I did a video on building it. And uh, there are other build videos out there, so you can follow along and put it together. And no fuss, no muss, you've got a knife. So uh, this is the, uh, let's flick the bean. I don't know if I said that, but we're going to flick the bean. We have flicked the bean, and we're going to flick the bean again. Eh. But yeah, this is the Gin Captain Kit Knife. Um, all that being said, thanks for looking at my crap. Uh, subscribers, you guys are awesome. We have crested 900. We're pushing our way to 1,000 in that first giveaway. I am so happy you guys are coming in and watching this stuff. Uh, comments, I love some feedback. Uh, let me know what you think about this. I know a few of the guys that watch these videos have gotten one. Um, if you've picked one up and put it together, let me know what you think about it. Does your experience line up with mine? And all that being said, y'all have a nice day.